Hey guys, my name is Ali. Uh, I thought to share some of my experience regarding building a home lab on a single PC for virtualization, uh, which is a combination of VMware Workstation and GNS3. So we will be doing that work, but before to go to that step, you need to find out the guideline for what you will need. So at least you need a CPU that is minimum four cores you can get from AMD personally I prefer that or you can get from uh, Intel whatever suits you best and you but it must support the virtualization including the motherboard must support the virtualization um, before you are going to build your own PC for home lab a single PC so you need to find out the hardware you are buying is it supporting the virtualization or not so you can find out a lot of blogs are over there even you can find out uh, on the board motherboard reviews the CPU reviews they will mention there for AMD and for the Intel chipset you will see the virtualization there <coughs> and the second thing uh, you need um, RAM at least minimum from 16 gig to 24 gig or you can go uh, based on your budget uh, get one SATA hard drive for your storage uh, to store your VMs and use it in an open filer or any other NAS we will be doing open filer in this uh, series uh, you need a 120 GB SSD drive half of it one partition for operating system and half maybe 60 gig for your important um, uh, VMs like uh, DC, SQL, SQL, sorry, and OpenFiler and ESXi for, for them. Uh, once you are done with that, then uh, you need an infrastructure to lay down everything you need for the infrastructure and for the, uh, for the VM infrastructure and for the network infrastructure, you need two things, VMware Workstation to run the storage ESXi and uh, VMs for you and of course for communication uh, medium you have to use the GNS3 if you are intended to use multiple subnet inside the single PC and do the routing things and all those things so you need a GNS3 software so we will be working on this uh, we will configure our VMware workstation we will configure our GNS3 but for GNS3 uh, how to configure it and how it to get work uh, the um, the beginner one step I already had some videos uh, please have a look at them and you can ask me any question if there I will I will try to get back to you on those questions but I will do uh, another part of GNS3 how to uh, interlink or integ integrate the GNS3 with the VMware workstation we will be working on that for sure so guys get ready and uh, if you have any question, please ask. Thank you very much for watching.